Welcome back to the Palm Tree Pack, everyone. If you are new here, welcome. You have found one of the most exciting videos I've done on Palm Tree Productions as of yet. I think today I have a very exciting video planned, so let's just hop right in. Roll the intro. All right, you guys, I have bought a dog stroller. That may seem a little bit extra, but let me explain. I am seriously so happy with my decision to get this. Well, my husband's and my decision to get this because I have actually struggled for quite some time, probably over the past two years, to take my dogs on a walk together. My youngest dog, Ozzy, he's a Pomeranian Chihuahua. He loves taking walks, but I have an 11 year old Shih Tzu who likes taking walks for the first five minutes and then decides that she's over it. So it becomes a little bit difficult to take them both on a walk that they'll enjoy when I have to carry her for two thirds of it. <laughs> for those of you who are new or who just don't know yet, I have a connective tissue disorder called HEDS also known as hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. If you want to learn more about it, check out this video up here on my sister channel. As of today, basically all you need to know is that it causes instability and um, hypermobility in my joints causing pain. So carrying Indy when she gets tired has become less and less of a realistic solution as my health has continued to evolve and change. So today I'm going to review this stroller with you, share my thoughts. I have had this stroller for two going on three months, so I have a pretty good idea on my thoughts on it. So let's just get right into the review. For this review, I will cover the following categories. Ease of assembly, versatility, price, and quality. For my rating on the ease of assembly, I loved how easy this was to assemble. I was able to do pretty much three quarters of it myself, which says a lot. I was able to put the wheels on as well and take them off actually, which is a huge thing. They are so easy to take off. And for the other quarter that I could not do myself, the basket that the dogs go in was quite stiff. So trying to get it to stand was difficult. Here's a little clip of Michael trying to help me do what I was supposed to do. I don't understand. Hey babe. I don't understand. Get it there. That's just because you have to be, you know, more abortion. <laughs> okay. Okay. Excellent work, dear. But considering that I'm not the average person, I don't think that anybody else would really struggle with this part of the assembly. <laughs> now, the hood of the basket was also a tad tight, so I had to really pull it together to be able to get the zippers to match up so that they could zip up together. But I was able to do it after a few minutes of just trying to figure out what the heck I was doing. <laughs> this doesn't reach. Why? How's it going? Why? Okay. Oh, this is very, very tight. Well, it's brand new. Yeah. Well, there we go. It looks like a potato mug. <laughs> So as far as design, the little hood or the cover for the bassinet was my only complaint. So as far as assembly, I rate this four palm cheese. I am subtracting one palm cheese for the difficulty that I personally had with assembling it, which may or may not be a problem that you run into, and the hood that was rather intensive to get zipped up. So keep that in mind that that was the problem that I had, which is why I give it the rating that I did, but that may not be a problem for you. Now rating number two is on versatility. I feel having this for about three months, this is super versatile and actually quite portable. Even though it looks large, it's super easy to collapse, it's super easy to fold down, and it's quite easy to take the basket out. I can fold this basket up with one hand by pressing that button and just pushing it down, and I can't do many things one-handed just because my hands are borderline useless. As an added benefit, I do like to use the basket for the stroller and the back seat for the car seat for the dog. Andy likes to be in a little bit more of a contained uh, environment because she likes to wander in the back seat, but it does a great job to shield Indy from the sun, which is usually on her side, and her being a very dark colored dog, she really struggles with getting overheated in the back seat of the car because the AC doesn't really reach her. So being able to keep her out of the sun is a huge plus as well. So for versatility, the rating I will give it is a full five palm cheese. 
As for the price, it was rather spendy, but as we were looking for the right stroller, we were looking at all the reviews and none of them really struck me as durable or sturdy. So I feel like they could take the price down probably about a good $30 to make it feel like it was more attainable for the average person. However, I do understand the dog stroller is a bit of a luxury purchase, but for me it started to become more of a realistic, reasonable kind of necessity if I wanted to take both the dogs on a walk when Michael wasn't with me. So considering everything, I will rate the price for palm cheese. I think it definitely would be a benefit if they brought the item down about $20 to $30 or so just to make it a little bit more affordable. However, Michael and I were willing to pay the price for the quality that it seemed to have. The reviews were glowing and honestly, it's a dream to push. I love, I love pushing it. It's so easy. And that brings us to the quality. As I was saying before, it is such a dream to push. It's like, it's like pushing a cloud. It is so light, the wheels just move themselves and the brake is really easy to apply. The brake is a little bit difficult to release, but that's just a problem for me, I think, because my ankles are unstable. But honestly, the quality was by far the highest rated part of this stroller. Uh, the, the highest rating can be five palm cheese, but if I could, I would rate the quality of the six palm cheese because it really does make a huge difference. When I was putting it together, I didn't feel like there was any cheap plastic. I didn't feel like there was anything that could break just by me trying to put it together. Everything felt well put together, well made with good materials. The design was also well thought out and durable and portable. And the fabric used for the basket was very durable. It doesn't stain easily. It seems easy to wash by wiping it off. And it didn't have like that kind of chemical-y smell like some things do that have like that kind of man-made fabric kind of feel. The one thing I would change was that the cushion that it came with to go inside of the dog's basket was not very thick, but that was an easy solution because we just had a pillow that Indy likes to use for a bed and we just put that in there instead. So we solved that problem, but it would have been nice for how much we paid for it to have a thicker cushion that would seem a little bit more comfortable for a dog. The cushion did have a rubber side up so that it would be nice and wipeable for any muddy paws or accidents or something like that in there as well, which was a good touch, I think. So like I said, the quality rating was easy. I gave this five out of five palm cheese for quality for sure. If I could, I would give it six out of five palm cheese because I just really think that they really knocked it out of the park with the quality on this one. Now, that's it for today's review. I'd love to know if it helped you make your decision. Do you think that a dog stroller is a luxury item? Do you think that it would benefit you by having something to keep your dog a little closer? And if you have been thinking about getting a dog stroller for your fur baby as well, I'd love to know your thoughts. Did this change your thoughts on it? Did I miss anything? Let me know. If you enjoyed today's review or you've enjoyed previous DIYs that I've done on this channel, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy what we do because it really does help us a lot. It lets me know that you enjoy the things that we do. Let me know if you like this video by giving it a thumbs up so that maybe I can do more for you. And I will add, we are steadily approaching a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much. I'm just baffled. I've been doing this for probably three years at this point. I've loved every minute of it. I know that I can't make videos all the time or as frequently as I would like, but I really appreciate you guys supporting me in the frequency that I can make these videos because of my help. It just, it really helps me to know that you guys appreciate it and that the time and energy and health that I do invest in these videos makes a difference for you guys. Now that's all for today. You can also watch some of my DIYs I have on this channel up here. There's more product reviews up here. And that's it for today. Make it a great week by trying something new and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Join me on my sister channel to learn more about me and my health condition, but also how to manage health and life realistically and positively with chronic pain.